Ashley, the library lady, and today we are going to read stories and sing songs and tell jokes about something very special. I have a hint here to help us guess what it is. This is an owl, and Jasper's an owl too. Hmm, I wonder what we're talking about. Maybe it's owls, but maybe it's something else. We should ask Cinco. Cinco always knows. Help me call him out right now. Ready? One, two, three. Cinco! Cinco, what are we going to talk about today? Night time. Night time? I love night time. I'm ready for our first book. Let's take a look at this book. Waiting is not easy by Mo Willems. Wait, before we start, what does a pig say? Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <sighs> Gerald! I have a surprise for you. Yay, what is it? The surprise is a surprise. Oh. Is it big? Yes! Is it pretty? Yes! Can we share it? Yes! Oh, look at that smile. Gerald is very happy. Oh, I cannot wait! You will have to. Wait, what? Why? The surprise is not here yet. <laughs> so, I will have to wait for it? Yes. Oh. Oh, well, if I have to wait, I will wait. I'm waiting. Waiting is not easy. Piggy! I want to see your surprise now! I am sorry, Gerald, but we must wait. I am done waiting. Oh, Gerald's smile is gone, and now Gerald is very unhappy. I do not think your surprise is worth all this waiting. I will not wait any more. Okay, I will wait some more. It will be worth it! Ah. Piggy, we have waited too long. It is getting dark. It is getting darker. Uh-oh. Soon we will not be able to see each other. Soon we will not be able to see anything. We have wasted the whole day. Well, um... We have waited and waited and waited and waited and waited! And for what? Are you ready? Sunshines, did we wait long enough with Gerald and Piggy to see the surprise? Here it is. A beautiful nighttime sky with lots of stars. So many stars, we cannot count them. Oh. 
It was worth the wait. I know. Tomorrow morning, I want to show you the sunrise. I cannot wait. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that book with me. Did you like it? What did you like about it? I liked that Gerald and Piggy were there because they're always funny friends, aren't they? They are. <laughs> Thanks for sharing it with me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Owls say. Owls say who? Yes, they do. Who, who? Ah, ha. Ah, ah, good joke. Where do books go to sleep? I don't know. Where? Uh, give up? Under the covers. It's my turn, Paloma. Why did the library lady wear sunglasses? I don't know why. Give up? Because the kids she was reading to were so bright. Hey, sunshines. I wonder what we're counting today. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. It's a rocket ship. Look at that. There's number one, two, three, four, and five. Five rocket ships. Should we count them and make sure there are five before we call out Cinco? You know he only likes to eat things in groups of five. Let's check. One, two, three. Oh, what comes next? Four, five. Oh, perfect. It's time to call Cinco. Ready? Cinco. Hi. Cinco, we made you lunch. Thanks. Okay, everybody, you know what time it is. We need to count back from five while Cinco has his lunch. Ready? Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. That was perfect. Do you think so, Cinco? Thanks. I want to see that again. There's number one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Five rocket ships. Should we count them and make sure there are five before we call out Cinco? You know he only likes to eat things in groups of five. Let's check. One, two, three. Oh, what comes next? Four, five. Oh, perfect. It's time to call Cinco. Ready? Cinco. Hi. Cinco, we made you lunch. Thanks. Okay, everybody, you know what time it is. We need to count back from five while Cinco has his lunch. Ready? Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. That was perfect. Do you think so, Cinco? Thanks. Bye, Cinco. That reminds me of a story. Uh, this story. Papa, please get the moon for me by Eric Carle. Eric Carle wrote one of the other books we read here at the library. He wrote The Hungry Little Caterpillar as well. And remember that he does his illustrations for all his stories by combining paper and paint. Very cool. 
before Monica went to bed, she looked out of her window and saw the moon. The moon looked so near. I wish I could play with the moon, thought Monica, and she reached for it. But no matter how much she stretched, she could not touch the moon. Can you reach the moon? Papa said Monica to her father. Please get the moon for me. There are arrows on these pages because there's a surprise. A very, very big ladder that Papa is going to use. What happens next? He carried the very long ladder towards a very high mountain. Oh, there's another arrow. Surprise! Oh my goodness. It's hard to hold this book because it has so many surprises. Then Papa put the very long ladder on top of the very high mountain. The ladder goes right off camera, but does it reach the moon? Up and up and up, he climbed. There he is. He's almost on the moon. There's the top of the moon. And let's see. Here's the bottom. Oh, Papa's got all the way up there. Finally, Papa got to the moon. My daughter Monica would like to play with you, said Papa, but you are much too big. Every night I get a little smaller, said the moon. When I am just the right size, take me with you. Don't know if that's really how moons work, but this is a very imaginative book. And indeed, the moon got smaller and smaller and smaller. When the moon was just the right size, Papa took it. Down and down and down he climbed. There's the mountain again. Here, said Papa to Monica, I have the moon for you. Monica jumped and danced with the moon. She hugged the moon and threw it in the air. But the moon kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and finally, it disappeared altogether. Wow. Then one night, Monica saw a thin sliver of the moon reappear. Each night, the moon grew. And grew and grew. It's getting bigger. <gasps> it's a full moon. Oh my goodness. What a nice story that was. Did you like it, Sunshines? I liked it because we got to pretend we could touch the moon. <laughs> hey, Sunshines. Guess what I noticed today? My book bag says something strange on it. It says, where the wild things are. Can you see that? Do you think that means there's a wild thing in my book bag? There is. There is the wildest thing I have ever seen at the friendly little library in here. That's right. Oh my goodness. Maybe if we all say, Hey, he'll come out. Are you ready? Hey! <gasps> Roar! Oh my goodness, it's Rory the Roaring Rabbit. Hi, Rory. I have our first letter. It is a, do you know? It's a letter D. That's right, Rory. And here is the first letter in my name. What letter is that? It's the first letter in the alphabet, an A. That's right, Rory. 
And we have one more letter today. It's this letter, a stick, and then another stick, and another stick. It's a Y. That's right. And our word today is the opposite of what we're talking about. Do you see D-A-Y? Day. Day is opposite of night. Oh, I love opposites. That's right, Rory. I love opposites too. My turn. It is your turn, Sadiq. I'm so excited. I'm listening really good. Okay. Now that everybody is listening to us, let's sing our alphabet together. Ready? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? That was fun. That made my day. I thought we could do sleeping piggies. And when piggies wake up, they oink. <sighs> Ready? Sleeping piggies till it's nearly noon. Come, let us wake them with a merry tune. They're so still. Are they ill? Nearly noon. Wake up, piggies! <gasps> oink, little piggies. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, little piggies. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, little piggies. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. That was beautiful. I'm so glad you sang with Sadiq today. I really enjoyed it. Guess what, Sunshines? It's supper time. Supper time? I could eat. Not supper time. Snupper time. S N U P A R. Snupper. 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 What's snupper? <laughs> it means snuggle up and read. <laughs> oh, not supper. Snupper. Snuggle up and read. <laughs> oh, Cinco, where are you taking the letter P? Oh, now it's snuggle you and read. I guess that's just fine with me. Are you snuggled, sunshines? Are you ready to snuggle up and listen? I am. I have Sadiq here and I have Cinco and we're all snuggled up and ready to hear the story. For our last story today, I have a story called The Night World by Mordecai Gerstein. We've got a cat. What do cats say, sunshines? Meow, meow. Good night, Sylvie. The cat's name is Sylvie. The Night World. Meow. The meowing cat woke the child up. But it is still dark. It's too late to go out, Sylvie. Or is it too early? Meow! <laughs> the cat would like the child to go outside. Everyone is sleeping, even the goldfish. What do we see in this picture? A fish, a parrot, and Sylvie? And it looks like, Sunshine, somebody is sleeping with a teddy bear right in there. Everyone except for Sylvie and me. Is this our house? In the dark, it seems like a different place. Have you ever looked at your house in the dark? It can be strange, but it's still our house. It's totally safe. Me out, 
said Sylvie. It's coming. What's coming? It's almost here, she says. Hurry. The cat is talking in this story. The grass is wet with dew. The air is warm and sweet. The dark is soft and comfortable. This is the night world. There are shadows everywhere. Do you see outside? There's a tree. The cat. I think it's important that we don't really go outside without an adult at night. But this is a good imagination book of what it would be like if we did. Are these shadows roses? Are those lilies and sunflowers? Where are their colors? Everything is just dark. That shadow is a deer. Is this one a rabbit? A porcupine looks up and whispers, It's almost here. I see a skunk. I know there's a skunk outside the friendly little library every night because when I wake up in the morning, I can smell him. <laughs> I see a fox and a lizard. Oh, a possum. So many animals and a bicycle as well. It's coming, murmur all the animals. It's almost here. Then a robin says it's on its way. Now another farther off. Here it comes. It's almost here, says a chickadee. It's almost here. Now birds near and far, each in its own language. It's on its way. Look, says Sylvie. Look, look, sing all the birds. Suddenly, all is still. Through the leaves of the trees, there is a glow. More animals. I see a raccoon and even a bear. Oh my goodness. And a deer. And there's Jasper the owl. <laughs> Here and there, shadows start to slip away. Where's everyone going, I ask. This is our bedtime, says the porcupine. Sweet dreams, I say. The glow flares above the trees. Clouds turn pink and orange. It's the sunrise. Oh my goodness. The grass turns green. The roses turn pink and red. The lilies and sunflowers turn yellow. It's here, says Sylvie. And the great glowing golden disk of the sun bursts from the tops of the trees. Good morning, sun, says Sylvie. Good morning, sing all the birds. It's going to be a beautiful day. I sing too. Good morning, sun. And good morning to you, Sylvie. Meow, says Sylvie. <laughs> from the house I hear yawns. Everyone is waking up. Good morning, everyone. It's going to be a beautiful day. Oh, what's in the shadows? All of the animals sleeping. <laughs> what an interesting book. We pretended we were outside with a talking cat. I loved that, did you, Sunshines? Thanks for reading it with me. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. If you love being read to, you can look at our playlist of stories and be read to any time you want because the friendly little library is always open. See you next time, sunshines.